My name's Dan Boone. I'm president of Trevecca Nazarene University. I, climate change, as a Christian for me, started way, way back in Sunday school, long before Democrats and Republicans ever started arguing about this stuff. For me, I was just simply taught the earth is God's creation and mankind is given uh, the image of God, made in the image of God, and given a sense of responsibility and stewardship over it. And rather than a dominion word that talks about our power over it, uh, I read that very much as a, as a covenant word where God enters covenant with, with humans that we might represent His love and care for His own creation. And that's how we demonstrate that we are the people of God. So for me, it has always been a spiritual issue. Uh, my mom and dad raised me to care for the earth. Uh, I come from a family that, that farmed down in southern Mississippi. And, uh, and they lived out of the earth and off the ground. And, and I've always had a deep appreciation for, uh, for what it means for us to be God's caretakers. We're in the process of training the next generation in our colleges to speak uh, articulately and passionately from a biblical perspective about the, the, the work that's going on in our, our environment today. And I, I think those of us who are leaders of these institutions, we need to be the people who, who demonstrate our commitment to that. Um, uh, the truth is a younger generation is not nearly as difficult to talk into uh, supporting climate initiatives as the older generation is. So old guys like me need to do this. Some of the kinds of things we've done here at Treveca, uh, we've established a social justice uh, major that has three components to it, and one of the three concentrations in social justice is environmental justice. So very directly, it is an academic enterprise for us here in the university. We're also located as a university in an urban food desert, and we're uh, next door to a neighborhood that has very little access uh, to fresh food and vegetables. So we've had the opportunity through urban gardens and through a lot of partnerships right here in our neighborhood to help people grow their own food. Uh, we've established a, a biking initiative. We're actually providing bicycles for our incoming freshmen who are willing to leave their cars at home and bike around the campus, back, bike around town and use public transportation. It's a whole lot cheaper for me to give someone a bike than it is to pave them another parking lot on the campus. And we think it also adds to the health of our students that, they are, uh, that they're bikers. We are, uh, we're in the process of exploring two new initiatives to provide student labor. One of them, a greenhouse that would provide startup plants for urban neighborhood farms around us um, and gardens. And the other, a high-tech recycling plant so that our students could work in that plant. And rather than all of the old computers and cell phones and printers going to the junkyards, um, that we would have, our, our students would have the opportunity to be trained to tear those down and, uh, and recycle the pieces that are all recyclable. And what that would do, our students would actually earn a part of their college tuition in the process of doing that work, while at the same time uh, keeping a lot of stuff out of landfill, giving it a second, third, fourth life. Now, to, to my fellow CCCU presidents, I, I think I would commend them. Many of them uh, have been examples to us. Uh, by what they've done and I'm so thankful the CCCU schools seem to be taking a lead on this from a biblical position. Uh, the, the truth is this is one of the places where I think Christian universities have the opportunity to take an issue that can become so politically partisan and put it on a different platform in the way that it is talked about. We simply do that by talking about a biblical theology of creation care. And by doing that, maybe we have the chance to uniquely enter a political world and help that political world to have the conversation at a very different level than which political party gets their way. Um, my hope and prayer is that out of our CCCU, CCCU schools will come the kind of students who will give skilled, informed, theologically based, uh, biblically sound leadership to the issue of, uh, of climate change and environmental care. We have to raise up a generation of people who feel called by God and skilled at the highest level to do that if, if we're going to make a difference. 
I, I'm a little pessimistic about my generation ever putting their arms around this issue the way they should, but I'm quite optimistic about my children's generation being able to do that. Um, I'm seeing it happen already, and I'm glad to do what, what I can to help that happen.